Hello guys, this is Red Tools. Today I'm going to show you a um, like a tool you've never seen before if you live in Western world. This is a stitch marker made by Todoki. Uh, you can you can uh, in Japan it is known as DT. Uh, he he makes wonderful wonderful na tools and knives uh, for leather community and woodworking community also. Uh, it says engraving by design by Mond, but um, actually what he uses uh, his uh, nickname on the on the web. Um, I will do review uh, about his uh, round knife uh, after this video, but. Um, uh, he makes wonderful knives. Uh, he he makes he works with the high speed steel knives and uh, most of uh, SKD eleven steels, which is D two in America in US. Uh, his his D two knives and uh, his high speed steel M two knives are pretty cool. Okay, um, like I'll show you guys in detail about this. Uh, it's very unique design uh, there's a curve a lot of curve into the tools and there is a his style of a handle like this tapered handle like this comes like this okay and the thread here you can use a hex key for untighten and tighten these but I only work with just a spine with a hand too it's a custom screw I think he made or he ordered to made that just fit into the screw so this part is only part that actually screws down or other part is just um, very you know, just a smooth smooth thing okay it comes with a lot of sizes I come I keep it like small container box like this with the labeled and I didn't want it to be a uh, rust so I just keep in this small plastic bag again with oils applied to them so doing this kind of thing will actually will not rust okay oils and plastic bag and another container it's safe uh, this is the uh, wheels that he makes uh, he does excellent excellent job of making this very delicate piece um, it's not handmade uh, it's machine cut so it's very very accurate okay so I'll show you guys in how to use uh, perfect snug fit it doesn't fall down because it's so snug I can push the thread into the oops sorry nope. all right now here's the piece now you can freehand your stitchy mark Like this. So amazing, eh? It's a uh, 3.0 millimeter thick. I mean, it's spaced. You can do curves. Yep, it's easy to use. You know, uh, most stitch markers are used. Some people use like this with a. Uh, their uh, shoulder placed at the back of the tool and they press really hard now it depends on person okay but it definitely leaves a deeper stitch mark okay this one if you press really hard okay it is smooth and the the reason why I like this tool is that this blade doesn't wobble okay this is machine pre precisely made machined tool so it doesn't have any of the wobble 
just runs smooth okay there's no space between those wheels and these carriages and all that so it just rolls smooth rolls but it doesn't wobble at all so it's it's important because when you make a um, stitch mark on leather if this wobbles you may end up w um, the not straight lines of stitch marks but um, you know, this one just freehand it's just um, very straight you know it is a very nice tool uh, I can't remember how much I pay for this one honestly really uh, I think 17 at 170 US dollars or 200 I'm not sure uh, but it's I as long as I remember it was lower price than Blanchard ones uh, Blanchard ones they tend to wobble a little bit uh, and I as far as I remember uh, this wheel is interchangeable with the Blanchard wheels so if you already purchased a Blanchard stitch marker and you are interested in one of these tools you, you don't have to buy Blanchard wheels I mean uh, his wheels to use this tool you can use Blanchard wheels into this uh, this tool and use it just normally but I haven't experienced of the Blanchard stitch marker but I heard that they are not that you know delicately delicately made they're not precisely made so they tend to have a wobble and uh, in in the play of using it so uh, I just recommend you know just buy his his wheels and his his tools that come you know so that they can use together uh, one very neat thing about his tool is that he he uh, developed a clever design I'll show you guys you guys probably oh this is held by uh, hex hex uh, pins I mean screws if you untie these you will guys be surprised of uh, how clever he designed there's also um, guided ones you know they have a this big piece of a guide uh, installed next to the um, wheel so that you have you can run your edge alongside the edge and you can run your wheels uh, you, I, you may find one I'll, I'll just uh, place a link in the description box uh, it's more expensive too uh, if you unscrew this and oops it doesn't come off why oh, I think it's because of the oil I applied years back <sighs> I think I should untighten these too I applied linseed oil on the handle and it became sticky a little bit because I don't you know disassemble the handle much so you know the wood in this tool is a mystery uh, I asked them he usually works with a high speed steel with ebony but I asked him if he has a brownish wood you know so because, oh okay see okay this is the system you can place a wheels into this uh, uh, what should I say into this space may he made you can uh, place two more one two two more so you can keep three wheels into this space you know so it's very neat design. Oh, I gotta wipe wipe up the oil. This was what, what came off. What prevented from not opening easily? Okay, because I applied linseed oil in the handle and it became a little bit sticky. But it's okay. 
nothing happens and you close your tool and fuel is inside and you can keep this but I just prefer to keep it on separated just in case you know you know I just like to just keep it differently what it's supposed to be okay now He has um, good experience with the wood. Uh, he started woodworking and he started making his woodworking tools and then he started making leatherworking tools also. Uh, he is really good with his hand. Uh, I've, I've met him in person before like a few times back when I buy his um, tools I go to him and uh, I just uh, yeah I, I've talked to him before I haven't talked to him for a while but uh, he's a great guy yeah. really good with his hand a lot yep so this would kind of be some kind of a rosewood or some kind of uh, not sure okay back into the place yep I will see you guys in next video bye bye